What up guys, we're at the world famous Barbell Brigade in Los Angeles. Just kidding, I don't really know if we're world famous or not, but um, I know a lot of people like coming here, especially these big old trucks, these big old... Watch, he's like a fan. <laughs> favorite lifting day of the week because it's my heavy day and uh, I went heavy across all my lifts just because that's how I have to program right now. Um, when I do all my martial arts or cardio type of stuff, it really fatigues me so I can't really count on my body being fresh to lift weights. So on my heavy days, I squat heavy five by three, then I also bench heavy five by three and then I deadlift heavy for one single and then I do a three by three. On squats, uh, last week I did 365, did 375 this week, and it felt really, really good. I like it when my heavy day weights feel like a RPE seven and a half and eight, because that means I can still watch my video, make adjustments on the fly, and still be able to do the weight without having to focus all my energy on just lifting the weight. And squats felt really, really, really good. Um, no expectations, just because I have a lot of things going on in my life right now. But if I can hit anywhere above 440, uh, if I can hit anywhere above 440, weighing in at 181, I'll be really, really happy. Um, and then on bench, I hit 295, five by three. On all my first reps, I've been able to keep my ass on the bench, but as soon as it gets heavy, my whole body flexes. Um, it gets kind of hard. My, sometimes my second and third rep, I can feel my ass coming off but the good thing is I'm aware of that so I can fix that and on even my second or my last set I uh, tuck my feet in because I'm gonna be doing USPA so you don't have to keep the heels on the ground I tuck my feet in and it felt really tight on my first uh, rep and my ass was glued for sure but then on my third one my ass came back up again. so I really have to focus on that I think what I might do is uh, to not really get into my own head I'm gonna keep my progression the same all the way up like let's say Let's say the, the week or two weeks before the meet, I might be able to hit 365 in the gym or something like that. I'm not gonna plan that as my third for the meet just because I know my ass is bound to come up and I'll just keep it conservative. I'll probably do like, uh, if I can hit 365 at that time, then I'll probably do 300, maybe 320, 325, and then 345, 350, something like that, just so I can stay in the game. Like when I power lift, I always wanna have a good meet. That's my number one goal. I always wanna try to get nine for nine. And then uh, finally I moved on to deadlifts. I pulled 495 for a pretty uh, easy single. I think all the band stuff has been helping out. I didn't really hitch much. It felt pretty smooth. Although it is heavy, um, it felt pretty smooth. And then I did back off sets with uh, 425. And I love doing back off sets with straps just because one, um, grip strength is never my issue. I have never uh, lost a deadlift due to grip strength. But what I like about training with straps is that I'm able to engage both of my lats equally as I externally rotate my shoulders and my elbows. And uh, it just ingrains better form for when I do do a mixed grip to also do the same way. Um, to also flex my lats and engage my rhomboids in the same way. So that's not really an issue. But for those of you guys who do have grip issues where you've let go of the deadlift or you end up finishing a deadlift like this, I highly recommend staying away from straps. Uh, but I don't have that issue. And then finally, I finished off with the circuit. I did uh, underhand pull-ups, and then I did uh, planks. Um, on my first set on my knuckles, just because that's the Kyokushin way for karate. Uh, so you always remember the point of contact when you're punching. And then I did uh, oh, rear delts, because you can never have too strong of rear delts. And that was my heavy day. It felt really, really good. Bang through almost 15 plus. Go ahead. You're good. No worries, no worries, no worries. Have a good day. Have a good one. I've been through 15 plus heavy sets of lifting and I still feel really good, really energized and I can still spend another 30 minutes on my martial arts shadow boxing stuff. So today is a really, really good day 
and I have only a few more weeks to go until my meet and I'm super, super excited. And also, if you guys haven't seen, we just dropped our faction collection. So if you like any of these shirts, the hoodie that I was wearing, this hat, oh, uh, all that stuff, go to barbellbrigade.com and here's a sneak peek you guys saw here first, but we have uh, Barbell Brigade athletic socks. And I wanna show you too much, but there's a lot of technology that goes into these socks. So uh, if you like the content, support the brand, go to barbellbrigade.com, link in the description. See you guys next time. Peace.